Hey everybody, in my previous video, I received a comment on how to build a PDF wrap chatbot using Croc to chat your PDF document for faster inference. So in this video, we will build a rack chat PDF document for faster inference. So it's gonna have a memory capability. So we are gonna use the Croc chat the channel it as the framework Olama, which will use the nomic text embeddings and launching. So I already have covered these topics in my previous videos, so I won't go into my detail. So you can refer to my previous video for more information and I'm gonna attach the link below. All right, so let's get into the demo. All right, so I've already run it and it's really fast so i'm gonna let me just put in something so i use the mental health documents i'm gonna say the definition of let's say of a child mental health so i uploaded this document i'm gonna say what is the definitions mental health so gonna hit it. right guys this is so fast i really love the um the speed at which it keeps the output okay tell you the freedom of child health is not speedily provided in the given context except however it is mentioned that explores the concept of healthcare and mental illness from different perspectives including those relating to children so in general, child mental health refers to the emotional, psychological, and social well-being of children. It affects how children think, feel, and behave, and contributes to their ability to handle stress related to. So, all right, so let me ask another one. Okay, I'm gonna say define the concept of stigma. Let's see what is the concept of stigma. Wow. See, the concept of stigma in relation to mental health is a complex one that has evolved over time initially. All right, so you can clearly see the output and it's in context. It's a document giving the references. Right. Okay, so you can see we have the sources which we are getting the response. No resources. All right, All right. So one thing I like, really like about this is it, the rate at which it gives the response. All right. So we are going to build this. I'm going to show you how you can quickly build this. All right. So let's get into the VS Code. Okay. So I'm going to clear this one. I'm going to open a new terminal. All right, guys, once you have a new terminal and you want to create a new environment for the project, you can go to, you can say Python, that's MVMV, EMV. So EMV is going to be the name, the environment. So when you hit enter, I already created this. So you should create a new terminal and you need to activate it. So you're going to say and slash scripts slash activate. All right, so when you hit activate, right, so you can see that the green environment here set up. Okay, so it means it's ready. And we are going to install Chainlet, the packages needed to run the application. 
So we are going to say Chainlet Launchchain Launchchain Community by PDF to interact with the PDF document, Chroma DB to create the vector storage. And so we are using the Grok, install Grok, Launchchain Grok, Olama, and Python.env to load our environment variable. Okay. So when we are done with that, we install it by saying pip install dash r requirement of txt with this sub. So when you do that, it should install all the necessary packages. I've already installed that. So I'm going to clean this up. All right, so let me get to the app.py, which contains the code to run the application. So we import py PDF2 to interact or load our PDF file. And we import Olam embedding. So we are using the Olam embeddings. All right, so for that, we are going to use the nomic text embedding for this. Okay. Right, so the embedding here, the nomic embed the text, so we are using that. And because it has a high performing open, it's a high performing open embedding model with a large context, large token context we know. Okay. All right, so it has proven to surpass the open AI text embedding, that is the ADA002, as well as the Embedding three small performance on short and long context text. Context stacks. All right, so we are going to use that. Okay, let's go back. Um, so we are using a creative character text splitter to split the text into chunks in Chroma to store the as the vector store. So conversational retrieval chain to create a conversation chain and chat message history, chat buffer memory to create memory for the conversation and the chain lit as CL, the framework and the chat crook. So we are going to initiate all the, uh, the like the model name, the temperature, I'm going to pass all through that through the chat crook and the dot env to load the model, um, load the environment variable and import OS to create path. So we are going to load the environment. So we are using the load.env and we create a function to initialize the conversation with the crook API key. So in order to get the API key, you can create an .env. Okay, so you create a .env file and you pass the crook API key and I'm going to show you how you can easily get that. And you can go to the console.grok.com slash keys and you click, you create an account first time and you click on create API key. So when you click on that, it should automatically generate an API key. It's very simple and you copy that and you paste it in your .env file, okay? All right, so the next thing is we initialize the group chat with the API key, the model name, and the settings, okay? So we are using the model name. So we have the mixed route 87B. We are using that. We are using the temperature of 0 0.2. So you can change that to meet your need. All right, so these are the parameters that you can input, okay? So if you want to add more, parameters, you can use this. So we want to start a chat. So on chat start, we initialize a variable to store uploaded files. We used to create, we say files is go to none. And we wait for the user to upload a file. For that, we, ask, we want to pass a content, a content. So please upload a PDF file to begin. And we are accepting PDF files. And the max size is I mean, you can optionally change that, limit the file size. And timeout, we want 80 
for the user response. And we say get the first uploaded file, so the file that is uploaded, and we want to print out the name of the file in order to make sure that is the correct file. So we send an image with a local file name. It's nothing, just this, the image that was created here, right? So we just an image that we want to just upload to make it more nicer, right? And we send an image with a local file name. So I already have the name here, the name of the image. So you can do that if you want to. It's optional and you inform the user that the processing has started. So we pass the content, you say processing, right? And we pass the elements like the image here. So read the PDF file, we're using the pypdf2.pdf reader. We read a file and we extract the content and we append it into the PDF dot uh, PDF file text as a string. So we split the text into chunks, all right? So we are using a chunk size of 1,200 and the chunk overlap to be 50. So we split that and we pass that into text, all right? So we create the metadata for each chunk. We want to get the metadata, that is the source. And we iterate through the text to get the, the sources and we pass, we call it the metadata and we create a vector. So we use the Chroma vector store we create an embedding, so we use the old normal embedding and we use the nomic embed text for that. So we create a doc search and we pass the text embeddings and the metadata. We initialize the message history for conversation, so we call it message history and the memory for the conversation task, all right, for the test um, context, really. So memory, we are passing the conversation buffer memory and we want to pass the chat history, the answer, the message history, and we want to return the messages, which is equal to true. All right, so we create a chain that uses the Chroma vector store. So we call it chain and we pass the, the LLM that is the, Once we created here, the LLM crook, so we pass it. We pass the LLM and we pass the chain type to be staff. We pass the retriever doc. So we're going to retrieve the response from the doc search. And the memory is equal to memory. We want to return the source document to be true. And Right, so let the user know the user, uh, system is ready. So we pass this processing. You can now ask question and we store the chain in the user section. All right, once we do that, we are ready to converse, to start a conversation. So on message, we retrieve the chain from the user section, right? And we call back and callbacks happen asynchronously or parallel, right? And now we want to call the chain with the user's message content. Okay, All right. So guys, I've explained most of this code in my previous video. All right. So you you call the chain with the user's message content by using the chain dot AI book, and we are passing the content and the callbacks. Okay. So we, within that, we want to return the answer and the source document, all right? And we initialize list to store the text elements. So we want to store the text element and we process source document. So if there's a source document, we want to enumerate to the source document and we want to append the page of this, of the content from the source document, we want to append it into the source names as source names. Okay, so we want to get the sources of the documents that we extracted, and we want to so add sources reference to the answer. Okay, so we are going to add. So once we extracted the answers, we are going to add the source 
um, document or information to our answers, okay, to get a response. So we use this if and else statement to get that. Okay, so now return the results by using this code. So we want to get the answers, the, ele the text elements. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to save this and I am going to run it. So before we run it, we need to uh, we need to do a pool of the embedding. So pool um, nomic. So let me copy that code. Copy that name. So we are running this through Olama. So we want to do a pool of that. I'm going to say Olama pool, and it's all set. So let me run the application. I'm going to say let's run up the pie all right so once that is done let me upload a file I'm going to upload this file okay let me do this one all right it's ready so i'm going to say it's just a who is the CEO of Walmart? We'll say in the few pages document. All right, so the CEO of Walmart is Doug McMillan, and it's giving the sources here. So, one, so two. So, let me do a follow up. And what did he say? A follow up question so let's see really guys i really love the the response of the output so wow so it's able to do um answer to follow up questions so it means the memory is working awesome all right guys i this is what i want all that i want to share with you so let me know know in the in the comment below how you see this application and how fast it really works for you I hope you like this video. I'm going to attach the code in the GitHub so you can grab it. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next one.